Hello, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 118. I am Neil. I'm Annalise. Hello. Why are you laughing? Did you just look down to see what number it was? Yes. <laughs> I did. That's why I was laughing. I did. Yes, I did. Whew. Oh, I... Put oh, my face all over. Jesus. No, we have to... Did we name it? Um, no, but it has a name, doesn't it? Oh, does it's it? It's like Midnight or oh, Smoky Ebony. Or... Yeah, Ebony. There you go. Ebony. So close. <laughs> so it's Johnny and Ebony? Well, yeah. that's good because Ebony can be a girl name. Yeah. Aw. Adorable. Yeah. Love it. Uh, Thank you for this, by the way. Um, no. I think I might take them on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. That was... Awesome. I thought we figured yeah. we win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Draft's getting awesome. screwed. Draft's already been. Well, Draft's already been in Jamaica, so... Yeah. Sometimes, not everybody can go all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, uh, Paul and Dave were supposed to join us, and I don't think they are, so screw it. No giraffe. <laughs> no you giraffe get. for you. Twitch Double get. D. <laughs> um, Double, triple, all the Ds. The memories no Ds. of last year's Jamaica will have to be enough. <laughs> That's right. How are you doing there, Lady Loons? I'm good. How are you? Did uh, I already ask you that? I don't know. I don't think I did. Who knows? Yeah, I don't have it. I am. What is going on over there? Still fiddling with everything. Yeah. I am. Is your I mic am, placement okay? I think so. Okay. I'm good. Yeah? <laughs> been a little, yeah. Been a little busy day. Uh-huh. Uh, back and forth to the Subaru dealership. I was going to ask you about that, but then I figured you might talk about it on the pod because I... Yeah. I was like, what? I'm going to. <laughs> what the F? <laughs> I am going to. But should we do other stuff or should we just get into that and then do stuff as I it would comes say get up? into that because we're going to start talking about it. So and had then we'll it, reverse back. So as some people, that's rewind. Oh, so <laughs> as some people know, do it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to play with this a lot today, otherwise no one's gonna take it. Yes. <laughs> so as some people know, uh, we have two cars, and we switched cars not too long ago. So now I drive the Boobaroo, mm -hmm. and it was due for its thirty thousand mile service, which is a big service. And I took it, and as if you've listened to the podcast before, no, I have a had a few issues with napa subaru mm -hmm. and uh so took the car for service and they were very nice and got the car back and one of the things they do at thirty thousand miles is uh front differential it's an all-wheel drive vehicle so services are a little more expensive they have to deal with the front differential and i'm all about like you know do as much i mean let's keep it running as best we can so i'll pay a little extra to have right. everything done just maintenance. that's my own Preventative that's my own yeah my own deal so anyway, so I got it back from the dealership, and it was leaking uh, out of the front differential. But you didn't notice that until after you got home. Right. right. So I called up, and they're like, oh. And the one thing I will give them, he, they were like, you know, where do you live? Cool, we'll send someone out. And I was like, well, why don't I drive it to you? Well, no, first he said, you know, where do you live? No, no, it, that's right. And I said, we'll send somebody out. And I'm like, well, how about, would it be easier for me to bring it to you? And they're like, oh, yeah, but we know it's super inconvenient. I said, yeah, but I don't have all the tools here. So if you, you know, if something needs to be done. Right. It's better um, if it gets done at that the That was shop. my thought. So I took it in, and um, the person who did the service on our car didn't tighten down the plug that goes in the front differential to not let the differential fluid or gear oil, as some people like to call it, leak. So that was that was the issue. Right. However... I'm not totally convinced they actually changed the oil filter either. Mm. They also found a nail in one of the tires of which they repaired, which is interesting because I'm very anal about... Checking the, the tires. Yeah, because yeah, you wash the cars all the time and all the that The other stuff. funny thing is they're doing construction there right now, so I think the nail was picked up by one of their guys. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> which is yeah. fine, but then right. they charged us for... But I don't they think... They charged us for fixing the tire yeah, that they... I don't think they fixed the tire. I think it's losing air, so I, have to, I think we have to go get it fixed again tomorrow anyway. So when I took it back, and, and um, there is a mechanic there. He's the one who did the, the wheel bearings. Mm -hmm. He's really cool, really nice guy. And he came up to me, and he's like, yeah, I'm all done with your car. The guy who worked on it didn't tighten it. So I told the service manager, and he's like, man, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, bring it by. We'll detail the car. You know, we got to make it right. And my thing is, like, I've been giving these guys, I think, a fair shot. I think I'm going to have to go to a different yeah. place. I mean, it sucks because they're right, literally right, right down the street. Yeah. And the next closest one is about 25 minutes away. Yeah. Which isn't a huge deal. Right. A lot and of people, on a good day, it's 25 minutes away, though. Like in traffic, like on a Saturday afternoon, it could be. Yeah. Longer. But I, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> I'm just going to have to. 
Yeah. To go and so for like the thirty thousand mile service, they charge about a hundred dollars more right. than every other because they're in Napa, so they're like, well, we can we can charge more. Right. Um, Did you point that out while you were there? You're like, <laughs> n- n- no, no. <laughs> I pointed enough. I right. I don't like being a jerk. A yeah. jerk, and I'm not. I mean, I don't purposely like the right. service. And that's the other thing. This is the third service manager since we've purchased the car. Mm-hmm. The car's a year and a half old. Right. Third service manager. He's like. Well, I think we're moving in the right direction. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, because too bad not we're testing tightening. out on my car. <laughs> you know, and he was like, oh, he's like, the guy got called away today on a family emergency. You know, he's going to be gone for a while. And I'm like, well, stuff happens. I mean, stuff does happen. People make mistakes. I make right. mistakes in my job. I'm sure you've made mistakes in right. your job. Absolutely. I'm sure everybody who has a job has made a mistake, including doctors and surgeons. We hear about it all the time. Um, I don't know why I threw that in there. I just want to throw them under the bus too. I guess I'm throwing everybody under the bus. <laughs> just um, want to lump everybody together. Yeah, just grumpy. Yeah. Um, so, but you know, but, and it's right. not that big of a deal. But I'm like, this is, this is a, l- a well, lot. Well, I guess for for me, I don't know if they feel the same, but ever since we got this car, dealing with the dealership, and even buying the car, dealing with the dealership was a bit of an issue because, like, the whole loan papers, like, yeah, that, didn't, that was a they, like, held thing. on to the loan papers for, like, two weeks longer what than What I like, too, is the to. guy who, the, our, the salesman, mm-hmm. doesn't recognize me. Yeah. Never says. And we've never gotten a call. Like, usually you buy a car and you get a call he, from the dealership. He did send an email once. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. I did not know But that. he doesn't know us. He, no. It's just on his rotation of... Remember to thank these people who bought a car for you. Which is totally cool. I'm just used <laughs> so. to whether you buy a car or not. Eventually, the people call and they're like, hey, you know, I just right. want to see how the car was well, going. Well, we bought um, the cars um, from Ford that... It's I, a little I, different. Well, I know, but the, the woman who... Oh, yeah. Um, and I don't remember her name right now. I'm very sorry. But she called me all the time. Like, yeah. all the time. She used to call me all the time. Like, every three months, she would call me. This is the only vehicle I've ever purchased that I have a little buyer's remorse. I'm like, we should have just kept the other car. Mm. Well, I mean, well, I also, like I said, I didn't know it was going to be kind of a, a thing, you know, like, yeah. you know, and it's one of those things where you only drive the car for, you know, a few minutes and you're like, okay, this seems good, you know? Oh, but no, the car, the car itself I, I, is and I, fine. And that's what I was going to say. Yeah, like, I like the, the car's car fault. <laughs> and I like that it, the car works for us. Like, yeah. it's, it's a good car for us. Yeah. I, I think it was the right way to go. I, right. But the dealing with the dealership and all the things that, Whatever has been kind of a pain in the ass, and even like I was saying, like even buying the car, like the loan papers and stuff like right. that was kind of weird. And yeah, and, well, and, and, and I ended that, up having to the, make an extra trip the guy, down there. The loan officer didn't show. We had to wait for him for an hour. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's just not. And it's I always try to be like error on the side of positive. Right. But it's like but I'm realizing like this dealership's time. just a freaking mess. Yeah, it's like the fifth time we've had an issue. With yeah. Them. So yeah. anyway. 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 So. Needless to say, right? <laughs> but but everybody's been very yeah. nice. I don't want to make it sound like you know, but it it's. I'm like, well, I'm I'm, I was always very lucky because I've I yeah. purchased Fords and you know I became friends with the dealer right. and I've never really had the Fiesta had a few issues, right? But they're taking care of it. But it was it. never. I mean, like I went into Ford because the Fiesta needs new um, shocks and struts because it's got so many miles, and right. I went in and said. Hey, I got tires somewhere else, and they said I need new shocks and struts. And she's like, "Oh, how many miles does it have on it?" And I said, Nine, "It's about to hit ninety thousand in service." Um, I said, "I would imagine I need to bring it in so you can inspect it." And she's like, "No, at ninety thousand miles, it needs shocks and struts. I'll just order them. Let me know when you want to bring the car." That was it. They right. never even looked at the car. I called called her back today, and I said, "Can I bring it in on July 2nd? She goes, "Yeah, no problem. We'll order the parts now. They'll be here, and well, we'll take care of it." That was it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I was like, oh, every, every time I had an issue with them, they're like, right. yeah, cool. No and I problem. I think that, that was um, one of the conversations we had. We're going to a lot of car talk here, people. Sorry. But um, when we, I used to have a Toyota Matrix, which I loved, but it was kind of getting up there in miles and things started going wrong with it. And so I made the decision to yeah, get a new car. You were and spending, I got the spending more money a month on it than it was worth. Right. And so, um, and I had, and it was uh, paid off. So it was like that. It was not. Oh, it was not paid off? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't that was, that. That, was, that was the breaking point. Oh, right, because I was still paying it off, and it was starting to break down. You have a payment, and you're paying about $500 a month in, like... And little, it was, it was just, just little at the things. Age. It was yeah, just the just age little of the things. Car. And I drove it so much. Yeah, it had a lot of miles. And so, um, anyway, so when the decision was made that I would probably get a Ford, because we did look at other cars at the time, like we We looked drove. at Subarus. We did. And I said no. <laughs> right. <laughs> I said well, we, I don't. Well, well you, it was also, well, we I wanted, said, I wanted I the, the Impreza, which was like forty five grand. I was like, I can't afford no, this No, it was not. No, it wasn't that. We went and we looked at him and I'm like, take a look at it. Right. 
it's very plasticky inside. Yeah. And this is when Subaru still was. This was a while ago. And I didn't really like the way I felt in the seat right. either. I don't know if that's just me being a girl or whatever. But and um, then anyway, we and yeah. then for so for the same price, I said let just you didn't want a Ford because you weren't hip on American right. cars. I said let's just go look at one. Right. And then for the same price, you got something that was fully loaded. Right. I think it was actually even cheaper. I thought it was cheaper. It may have been. I, um, I don't remember. But it was, and I fell in love with the Ford Focus, like, instantly. I was like, oh, my God, I love this car. <laughs> but um, but it was it was hard for me because I was like, I, I don't want a Ford. And you're yeah. like, no, no, no. And then we're um, looking it up and, like, the whole, like, uh, like, in the last, I think it was, like, five years, like, the um, customer service rating for Ford has gone through the roof, like, on sky high. Yeah. So, like. I mean, every car manufacturer I, I, has issues well but. and and i think it all kinds of ebbs and flows like some yeah. car dealerships or dealers um sorry brand of cars like are better at some point than others and i think it all just it kind of comes goes anyway so these are the cars we have now yeah <laughs> and... anyway we should have held on to the focus <laughs> that's all i'm saying well however whew. we wouldn't have been able i mean the times we needed the super and it's not the subaru's fault subaru handles great drives it's a great, great car it's a great car yeah but it's been nothing but awesome. Yeah. It's just so. not. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So. So car stuff today. So. And maybe tomorrow now too. Right. Possibly yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. We'll check the tires in the morning and see how that goes for everybody. Well, we'll <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. Well, last time we got a freaking oil change. They didn't put, obviously didn't put enough oil in it. Right. Because oil, low oil light came on. Uh, yeah. Which so. is kind of weird. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I guess getting, I have to go to a different dealership. Uh, I think I'm getting tweets from Agent Palmer. That's fine. Hold on. Um, I want to tweeting? thank uh, Matt and Scott from Reasons There Are Several. Uh, as I, I say uh, a lot. I apologize for I that. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to do it all the time. Right, because you're Scott, focused on it. Scott had to uh, go count some money. So Matt <laughs> Somebody needed, else's money. <laughs> yeah, Matt needed a co-host. And I co-hosted on the last Reasons There Are Several. Episode 121, I have it written down. And 122, because he's and 122, yep. splitting it in half. It's going to come out Wednesdays is his new release date. Had a great time. It was a great episode. A I lot of fun. I really enjoyed talking to Matt. Mm-hmm. Matt's definitely... Uh, Matt reminds me of Nate a little bit, how yeah. they talk and right. stuff. It's funny since he's they're both important. super easy to get along with. Yeah, like, Matt's a great guy. He's super likable, super easy to get along with, and like in person, on Twitter, and on podcasts, like he's just easy going and super easy to get along with, and... You guys always have stuff to talk about. And so, I mean, like, I feel like he's one of those guys you always have something to talk about with. Definitely feel that if Matt, if we live closer to each other, we'd hang out. I However, would, at I the think... very least, I would want to hang out with him. I don't know if Matt wants to hang out with me, but I would want to hang right. out with Right, and that was what I was going to say. <laughs> I think it might be a little too needy for Matt. I mean, he might be like, no, nah, bro, I don't need a hug. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, I don't I, know. you might have to take up golf. Maybe? I have I kids don't know. and I do all this stuff and I play hockey. I really don't need <laughs> you in my life. But I, uh, I, I, don't need I think we you. both had fun. I had a great time with him. I think he had fun. It, it, um, I, w- I was hoping that we were going to do more like his show and I'd be like the co host. It did end up a little more like we were interviewing, interviewing? each other. Oh, yeah. You wanted to Which is co-host. totally cool. Totally <laughs> Damn cool. It. But I was really hoping like he was going to start pulling all these basketball and um, hockey stats out and I'd just be like, yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> no, nope, don't know about that either. I told either. you, you should have brought on a uh, children's book to read. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> Angry children book hour. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that, but you know, I didn't want to take someone else's gimmick. That's true. Also, That's Scott's gig. <laughs> um, we were, both of us were on that man. On Fat on Man? Fat Man. Right. And uh, the two-parter, again. Two-parter, but we released them back to back. Right. So they're out. So check out the latest episodes of That Man on Fat Man. We had a, a great time with that. Um... And that's uh, 15 and 16, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I think it's like season... Yeah, okay. Right. Right. This season's... Um, and I, Oh, my gosh. I forget which season is. Um, season 104. <laughs> right. I, I don't think so. I mean, I'll, I can look it up real quick and find it. But um, Agent Palmer tweeted that he sent you questions. For right now? Or for the show? I, uh, for the show, I assume. Oh, I'll look. Um also, uh, let's talk about the shirts. We didn't talk about the shirts last time. Oh, okay. We still have Dark Angels and Pretty Freak shirts. We we are we figured out who we're going to donate the money to. It's going to go to the Petaluma Animal Services Foundation. Did I say that right? Petaluma Animal Services Foundation. Oh, I didn't know. We excited. Okay. Oh, we, I don't remember that. We talked about. It. Okay. okay. No, well, I'm sorry. No, no, talked no. Talked about it with somebody. <laughs> May have been in my head. I don't know. 
but they are amazing and they do amazing work. And what's really cool about them is they not they are so successful in what they do. They help other shelters and they pull other. Yeah, they're such an amazing shelter that they take dogs from different shelters to get them adopted. Yeah, it's a no kill shelter. They've helped us with uh, Zero, our little uh, pit bull pit bull mm-hmm. mix. And um, at one point last year, they obviously made the news because they um, ran out of dogs. They, they had out dogs. adopted out all of their dogs, which is epic. I mean, that's just I mean because they're so active in the community and like active on Facebook and act on social media and like just go out there and get their dogs adopted. You know, so anyway. So we don't. We still have shirts left. Uh, so the deal that we're doing, if you don't know, is you can have a Dark Angels Pretty Freak shirt. Just let us know. We're going to send them all out at once. I, the only people to get them are Brit and Tiffany so far because we we saw we them. saw them in person, right? Um, but we're going to send them all out at once. So if you asked for a shirt uh, and gave us your address and everything, you're on the list. Don't worry about that. We're just going to do it. It's going to be easier for us to send it all out at once. Yes, we do have more shirts. We're just asking for a minimum ten dollar donation to the Pet- Petaluma Animal Service Foundation, of which we'll put all the information. You can send the money to us. You can send the money straight to them. If you send it to them, we just ask that you let them know that it's from the Dark Angels and Pretty Freak shirt thing, just so she knows that's where the money's coming from, because right. we do want some recognition. We're not doing it just for the animals. We're doing right. it for some glory <laughs> as well. well. We know, we know, we actually uh, know her. So what we yeah. might do is we when just, we do like the check, we might go down there and like. But I have a feeling some people would just send. The right, money. which is totally fine. Yeah, totally which fine. Is totally and, cool. uh, so, her, um, and so, like, go down there and take a couple pictures and, like, do that whole thing. So that way everybody knows that we did it and actually did donate the money. And you feel and feel good about it because obviously we want you guys to feel good about what you're doing and uh, supporting that and us and all of that. So, woohoo. Yeah, and, and we will. Um... That's a really good call because I, I, um, I don't. I'm sorry that I probably forgot our conversation, but um, that's perfect. So. I'm glad we decided that. <laughs> I yes, I um, so um, fl- um, lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm sorry. We so uh, so if you want a shirt, um, we paid the shipping. Right. So if you send ten dollars, let's say to the Petaluma animal, or give it to us, however you want to do it, uh, we still ship you the shirt. So uh, it's not like we're going to deduct the money. Right. The, you know, and you can so. look them up. They have a really you, big and, Facebook presence. So and if you'd like to find. donate more, that that would be awesome. Right. But if not, that's, <laughs> that's fine. But Petaluma Animal Services Foundation in California, they do have a Facebook. So anyway, so they're, they're the shirts. Uh, I guess we should also thank Heno for coming. Although, yes. you know what? Heno should thank us. Why are we thanking him? <laughs> um, before we move on to Heno, and, and I do want to do that, um, I just wanted to say that um, the That Man on Fat Man, it is um, 3-15, 3-16, so I, it is season 3, 15, and 16. So there you go. That Man on Fat Man. Woohoo! Right. All Two-parter. Right. <laughs> Two parts. <laughs> uh, so... Thanks, Heno, for coming on. I found some... I found the... Que- Palmer sent me the questions, mm-hmm. so we'll go that right. in a second. Okay. So, Heno, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I guess we should uh, announce Jamaica Cat. Well, again, Jamaica Cat 2017. Heno will be getting married to his lovely fiance Sharon. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have some other people that are going to join us. If you'd like to join us in Jamaica mm-hmm. 2017, send us an email. I actually got an email this week from somebody who said, I'd like the info on Vegas and Jamaica. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, also Vegas, 2017 in mm, February. February yep. So Jamaica is June, 2017. Vegas is February, 2017. Okay. I think that's, that's yeah. enough. That. Oh, <laughs> dark angels and pretty <laughs> nice. We have a free app. Way to down, get it in there. Download it. <laughs> Usually that's the first thing you say. <laughs> I know. forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Is that your feet? It was. <laughs> All right, talk for a second. I want to read this for sure. Um, so, I want to thank Henna. We mentioned that man, hey man, and then we we're on faces and aces um, last week. So, woohoo! That's awesome. Um, and I wanted to mention. Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna totally scrap their name. And I, oh, sometimes I get names wrong. I I don't I don't I'm not dyslexic, but sometimes I just reverse things. Fun size happy hour. We had a very cool um, Twitter interaction this uh, week, and we sent pictures cool of our Twitter plans. What? Um, Twitter interaction. 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 Gotcha. We sent each other um, pictures of our Birds of Paradise plants. How adorable is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. And they send us uh, awesome weather reports from Melbourne. Awesome. And a Pittsburgh nerd always sends Melbourne us stuff. Melbourne awesome? Melbourne awesome. Is that not? I think it's Melbourne, Australia. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Melbourne awesome. <laughs> they live so? in awesome. 90210. Who doesn't want to say they live in awesome? 
probably the people who live in purgatory. Since we don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't is know either. where that is. <laughs> you have to clamor that uh that bit because I'm like, I don't know where it is. We're like, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho, Utah. Where did it end up being? Wyoming? I think Wyoming. Yeah. Is that? South Dakota. But there's so many. I know. <laughs> Which one is it? Yeah. Some research probably should be done at some when, point. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> People are like, what? We're t- last week we talked about Winona Earp and where, right. the, the show, where the show takes place. And also last week we talked about um, Princess Bride. I think I've had. Buttercup. I but couldn't I know. I, didn't... I, I know. Was that it's so Andromeda obvious. Andromeda or something? Just, I, can't remember. I don't even remember. But on IMDb, they actually just refer to her as Princess Bride. And like as soon as someone said Buttercup, I think um, Jeannie, Jeannie from Salty Language. Jeannie. She was pissed about it too. That's <laughs> how I read the tweet. It. I'm like, God you damn, read it, she's You read angry. it angry? No, oh, she, was, she was not angry. She was yelling. <laughs> God damn it, Buttercup, for yeah. God's sake. She called us names? No, no, no. But uh, um, so racial. like, I think, so anyway, a few people like, you stupid told me idiot, it's, buttercup. it's Buttercup. Sorry, Brain Cloud. <laughs> so obvious. I don't even know how many times I've seen that movie. It would be like forgetting a name in Jaws or something. Like, I can't remember. What's that guy's name? Sheriff what? Bob. Anyway. <laughs> Sheriff Buttercup, right? Sheriff Buttercup. Perfect. Anyway. Uh, you know what? I don't think I ever posted uh, pictures of Bruce the Shark. No. Nope. I'm like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well. That's that's how you roll. That's what we do. <laughs> or don't do. Yeah. Mm. Well, like Hanno said, that's now you're proving that you're not a podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm not a podcaster. I forgot the guest for a show. I have show. a day job. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Woo. That was funny. It worked out pretty well, though, I think. No, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Um, so should, well, I don't know what you have there, but I've got Palmer's question. I'm, I'm pretty much done. No, no. We're going to talk about your birthday. Are we going to, did you hear my stomach? Yeah. Is that your stomach? Yeah. Are you so hungry? Weird. No. Oh. I think it's all the popcorn I ate. Oh, are you okay? I th- think so. Beer and popcorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I was having flavored whiskey and popcorn. Oh, and now you're okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk about my birthday. Don't like my birthday. I know you don't, don't like but about it. I still am going to say happy birthday. And other people are going to say happy birthday. And it was your birthday on Wednesday. Chilling and, in the club. Um, holding tom- on my nub. Is that a birthday song? Rub-a-dub-dub. Yeah. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Drink oh, yeah. party like it's your birthday. <laughs> I should have had that kid up for you. I'm sorry. Chilling in the club. Do it, Josh. Stroking on my nub. Give it- now this is a put it okay, up, put it no, up from no a fun I was looking for finish. the right one. I was looking for the oh, no. No. We the town to tell the people. I have no idea what he's saying right there, but I like it. <laughs> he actually just said happy birthday. <laughs> so um obviously your birthday was during the week and we go to bed early and get up early so we can't really do too much during the week and i could give a good goddamn and you don't really care so instead <laughs> we're gonna go out tomorrow and have some shenanigans maybe some craft brews maybe maybe maybe, maybe we won't. tacos at the taqueria for lunch i don't think so <sighs> <laughs> we're having burritos tonight well that's true yeah. well Maybe try tip sandwiches tomorrow night. Maybe. Because I enjoy It's going to be a fun filled weekend. And then... Um, Father's um, Day. Father's Day on Sunday. Your parents are coming over. Mm-hmm. We're going to do brunch mm-hmm. in the afternoon. <laughs> afternoon brunch. Yeah. It's going to be a one o'clock breakfast. <laughs> do you know it? the reason for that? No. Because they're going out Saturday night. My mom's like, I don't want to wake up early. So let's do one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't... I thought we... They're going we out with have... my sister. Mercedes. Hmm? Remember, I told, oh no, no, you weren't there. I was talking to my sister. At the wedding, Mercedes, who's Maria's sister, mm-hmm. um, when I was a kid, I used to think she was my sister. And my mom said no. And I got so upset that I'm like, I want her to be my sister. So they all said, okay, fine, she's your sister. So oh. ever since then, she's been my sister. Oh, she's, uh, is she your age? No, she's a little bit older. Um, I'm almost sure you met her. I'm almost positive you met her. I don't, I don't um, think so. She lives anyway, here? She doesn't live here. No, no, she lives in Argentina. Then I, I haven't met any Maria's family from Argentina. Um, yeah, I don't know if she would have been introduced. But anyway, so it, it um, they're going out before Mer- Mercedes. Mm-hmm. Mercedes goes back um, home. So Saturday night Saturday is a big going, yeah, it's Argentina big. extravaganza. It is. Yeah. yeah. And she doesn't want to get up early and come over. <laughs> She's yeah. like, oh, no, I can't come over till one. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and Maria's brother is like, he's very important in the government of Argentina. Can like we actually say? Secret- I don't I, know if we can say. I don't know. He's I, I'm not a sure very important government official in Argentina. Uh, so it's really funny. Yeah. because, But he's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but like seeing him, people of that stature just hold themselves different. And I don't mean rich. No, I just, just mean people. Important. <laughs> well, and people, of, yeah, it's yeah. like it. Like if you ran into a president, you're like that guy just walks different. Yeah. So well, is that somebody chewing on something? It's nine. Oh, the dogs are so back. So I don't know why I'm talking about that. Why am I talking about that? Um, because we're talking about uh, Father's Day Sunday. Oh brunch. yeah, so she, mom, mom knows they're going to be out late. Dinner? It's it's more like a early dinner instead of. <laughs> well, it's more like late lunch, lunch I guess. but it's going to be breakfast. Well, by the time they get here and we actually eat, it's going to be more like two. So. Yeah, well, it's going to be really late breakfast then. Can I yeah. have your bottle? Oh. So, uh, yeah. So there's that. Thank you. Should be fun. <laughs> Father's Day, my birthday. Yep. Woo. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. There were a lot of people on uh, Twitter yeah. that said happy birthday. And Facebook, yep. And I appreciate that. Oh, also wanted to thank a lot of people reached out after I was complaining about my being sad about my head. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of tweets or oh, direct nice. messages saying, hey, totally get what's going on. Hang in there. It'll be cool. Nice. Or you'll be dead. One of the two. That's <laughs> what they you, said. You'll be too crazy to notice. Yeah. They <laughs> said it'll, be, it'll get better or it'll get a lot worse and you'll probably want to shoot yourself. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Well, oh. Not, is that helping? No. Uh, Speaking no. of, um, <laughs> fucking Orlando. Yeah, that happened. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah. I was so upset and confused what to say. It took me, not that you have to post things on Facebook, mm -hmm. but I, I wanted to say something. I didn't know what to say. It took me a few days to finally say something. But um, my heart goes out to the people that, lost somebody they love in that whole, the whole LGBTQ uh, community, as well as just humans in freaking general. I, I don't really think of, I don't know. We're I don't, all, yeah, we're all I, humans yeah, and I, it all sucks balls. I think it's cool that they have a community for support and things like that, but it, I don't view them as different people. So I don't, you know, different, I don't view them as different though. I'm going to call all them, just, them. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. I'm just you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Work with me. Those people are totally normal. <laughs> Did you just say those people? Um, <laughs> But anyway, I it, I can't talk about it because it right. fries my tree. I agree. But I just wanted to acknowledge it and say that it breaks my heart. Um, I, I think and I, some amazing stories are coming out of it of people. That whole jet was it Jet Blue? That whole thing where uh, a grandmother was yeah. grandmother no grandmother was flying uh, to bury her grandson, and the whole plane the stewardesses were like, hey. I don't know if stewardess is the right word, so I apologize if that's not mm -hmm. appropriate. Flight, flight attendant? <laughs> flight attendant, I don't know yeah. What it is. Flight attendant, that's right. Um, we're like, hey, let's, you know, maybe talking to all the guests and said, you know, we're going to have send around this piece of paper. Maybe everyone could sign it, kind of give it. So people started writing notes and everything, and it ended up that they she got pretty much a freaking book. And when they left, everyone stopped and said something to her, or gave her a hug, and no one complained about how long it took to get off the freaking plane. So there are some really cool human yeah. stories, and it's, it's nice in this freaking crazy time where it seems like everybody's trying to find a way to divide Every you know everybody's right, nobody's wrong. Everybody's better than everybody else, and everyone wants to step on somebody's head. It's nice during this crazy time that people are just like, N no, we're a lot more similar than we are different. Yeah. You know, here's a here's a woman who lost her grandkid. Doesn't matter if her grandkid was male or female or gay or straight, black, white, Latino, whatever. Um, just she needed somebody to she needed a shoulder to lean on, and she got a plane full of them, which yeah. was really cool. So. Orlando sucks. What the? No, Orlando's fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Orlando. What happened in Orlando? Right. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> um, did you see the story about how, and I don't know what group it is, and I'm sorry, maybe I'll find it on Facebook and re retweet it or something like that, but um, there's a group that took um, dogs down there during the... Um, oh, it's like... Um... Um, what are they called? Service dogs? Yeah, companion dogs, service dogs for healing. So they brought a whole bunch of like dogs down there so people could sit with dogs and pet dogs and like, because you know, they're just dogs in general, are just like so happy and loving. Like they don't. Well, animals you know, pull you out of yourself. Right. It, I mean, they're, they're really good and at so that. So they brought, um, and, and I'm totally blanking on what you would call that, but like a, um, but like, you know, when you take a dog into like a hospital, like things like that, it's like a, um, 
not a companion dog. What is that called? It's not service dog. It is a service dog, but it's 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 called something else when they do like ho- for hospital grieving? work. Yeah, it's like a. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so but I thought that was really cool. This uh, group got their dogs together and they went down there and you know yeah like march the dogs around and people got to sit with the dogs and you know it's anyway it's a kind of a cool thing because that as you say it takes you out of yourself and um well there's something pure i mean animals just pure love yeah animals just don't have that they don't whole judge <laughs> they rate, don't, yeah yeah you know they i just mean love... not all animals like each other yeah but it's an understood thing yeah. you know and if two dogs don't like each other it's not because you're a black dog and i'm a white dog or you're a straight dog and I'm a gay dog. Right. It's just simply, I just don't like you because there's something about you that's rubbing my fur the wrong way, bitch. <laughs> you're rubbing my fur the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, it broke my heart. Absolutely broke my heart. Um, so right before we move on from that, um, I wanted to say that I listened to um, Dana from How Is This Movie, who lives in Florida. Mm-hmm. And um, he did this 10-minute, um, just a little brief piece, and he released it on his... Um, Lips and feed for how is this movie, and uh, he just did a ten minute um, little conversation telling his um, history and knowledge of Pulse and Orlando and the fact that he's been there, he's partied dooms, there, dooms, and he's dooms, gone there, dooms, and he dooms. loves it, and um, and so just like his past experience with it, and it was really um, personal and really cool. I think, and, I, and it's only ten minutes if you guys get a chance to listen to that, but um, it yeah, was, it's really cool because like you know, in hearing you know just. A cool experience and uh, how cool and he talked about how cool everybody was and how fun it was and and you know just I've, anyway. I've never been to a gay bar or a gay club where i didn't have a good time yeah and I've, sure. I've i mean i know i'm sure there's uh, a lot of you know gay or transgender lesbian jerks out there there's gotta be <laughs> there has to be it just However, lots of averages <laughs> my experience has never been like that right you know and i and i'm not trying to try and bolster it like oh you know People are people, regardless of your sexuality. So there's jerks and right. Dicks People have and bad days. <laughs> vaginas and whatever. Um, however, I, I've I've never, fortunately, my experience of I've never been, <laughs> and this might be shocking to some, but I've been to a lot of gay clubs, <laughs> a lot of gay bars. <laughs> shocking. Um, I know. It's, it's a trip. Uh, and always had. I know, and I have great stories from. Uh, That's. Gay you got to write bars. that down for another podcast. Oh, and I'm sure no one's shocked right now going, oh, those two went to a gay club together? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Whoa. That's insane. So, Ooh, uh, right. <laughs> but anyway, I just, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on before I get pissed off and <laughs> okay, start talking yeah, about something else. For sure. Um, I would like to say how awesome it is and thank you for frosting our windows. Oh, I want to thank you for my birthday because I had an awesome birthday. I know we talked about the birthday, right. <laughs> but I didn't want to. And now that I'm thinking about it, uh, thank you for my lovely gifts and for an awesome birthday. It was, it was great. It was great. I'm trying to keep it simple. Ha- That's as you exactly like it. how I like birthdays. So it was, didn't it was awesome for me. Yeah. <laughs> I say try not to overdo. Yeah. So it was, it was good. I got so, you something awesome. a little fun and meaningful, and I got you something cool. Well, they were both fun and, and meaningful. But you needed the second item. Yeah, you got and... me a um, dog dog tag. Well, kind of dog. They're not real dog tags. I'm not trying to be military, but uh, with... Um, Jewelry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Engraved. Nine and you mm-hmm. to go with seven and zero. Yes. So now I have a full set. That... Please finish this, and then I'm going to come back to that, because that was a story. Oh, and then you also got me some new perfume. And I like the fact that I get perfume. I'm glad it's not called cologne because cologne to me always, I feel like it's going to be Dracard Noir or like Paco Robano yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I don't know if it's Paco Robano or Paco Robano. I liked Dracard back in the day. Oh, God. <laughs> but everybody wore it. However, so it's a I, was a huge, I was a huge CK1 fan, which oh, everybody yes, wore. Yes, everybody had that too. Everyone went around smelling so, like a freaking one, grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. But, um, <clears throat> so I have a very funny story about your dog tag gifts. Mm-hmm. So I got you um, seven and zero last year. Dog tags are actually black on a black chain. Right. And so they are um, it's and, and jewelry, they're engraved. basically. And yeah. they're engraved. And They're to... called dog tags because they're the shape. They're not right. real dog tags. No, I would course, not wear dog tags right. not I, being I, in the military. Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly. They, they actually call them something else. But I, I just for ease of use, that's what I'm calling them. Because that's tags. what they look like. Yeah. Canine extravaganza <laughs> tax. Let's just call them jewelry. All right. So they're engraved, and you have to have silver in 
uh, inlaid in them gold. so it bumps out because when you engrave silver something it's just the same color gold. so you have to have it pop you know like otherwise you can't really read the thing so i don't know if you noticed that or not yeah i always thought that they were silver and they were covered they were anodized in black no so they are black and then they engrave them with a silver tone and they, silver and i don't know how they do it but it's really cool and um so when you opened it you mm -hmm. mentioned oh oh this one's um longer and bigger than the others and i was like yeah <laughs> there's a story there so last year when i got yours mm -hmm. you know i took them out of the package and i looked at them and i was like oh the chain's not very long and i didn't think much of it last year i think two years ago was it two years ago mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm, maybe um then when i went to purchase these this year for you which was a week and a half ago or something it like that last year um I, I went and i and i wanted to get the same things i knew what i wanted I went to the same place, got the same thing, or went to get the same things, and I saw that they had those, and then I saw the tag on them, and I was like, oh, well, they must have something else, because this isn't the right one, because this says kids on it, kids dog tags. <laughs> and I was like, do you have these for men? She's like, oh, yeah, over here. And so I came over to the other side of the you know jewelry counter or whatever, and I saw those ones, and then... Um, and I took them out of the package and I looked at them and I was like, I think I got Neil Kids ones last year. <laughs> so last year, oh. I got you the kids version. And this year, the woman was so awesome. The woman who helped me, they actually didn't have them in stock. She had a girl, she and she lived, said that she lived in Vallejo and the Vallejo store had them and that she would go and pick them up. And bring them the next oh, day. that's nice. So she went above and beyond. And remind me, because I need to... Um, she like, obviously doesn't work at a super dealership. She does not. I need to um, email her boss and like say, um, um, thank you so much. But so the first thing she says to me, she's like, so do you want the kid one, kids one? And she pointed to what I was looking at. Or do you want the ones for an adult? And I was like, um, yes. <laughs> So, needless to say, last <laughs> so year once, you, got you got the kids one. But the girl who helped me last year was nowhere near as helpful right. and never well, told they, me there was a man's. Yeah. And so when I said I would like to get these, she just assumed I wanted them for a kid, which right. is fine. Yeah, because if you say I want this, right. they're not going to be like, are you sure you want this? Because most people would be like, yeah, that's why I'm saying I want this. Right. And so, but the girl who helped me this time was super proactive and like, right. so you want the kids one? And I was like... Did not know there was another option. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, luckily you can interchange them for whatever chain well, you want and together. whatever. Anyway, so. And then it, this one, since it's long, it came with an extra little loop that you could like, so you could put it on your keychain or do whatever you want with them, whatever. Whatever you want to do with them is totally fine. Thank you. I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't feel like you have to wear them together. Whatever. Right. It's totally fine. Whatever you want to do. But I just thought it was hilarious that I accidentally got you kids jewelry last year. <laughs> It's all right. I've worn them. I like them. <laughs> they're they're fine. They're great. But I just thought, oh my god! Like I just started cracking up. I'm like I, after I give these to him, I will tell him. But and he will think it's hilarious. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, that's my gift story. Well, thank you very much. That's funny. <laughs> Because cause one of the ones from my is tiny. Yeah, it's super tiny. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, I liked it because seven's big and zero's tiny, and that kind of seemed to match. Yeah, so and now nine is huge. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway. What but, else? What else? What else is going on over there? Um, I was going to talk about your frosted windows, and thank you. That's what oh. I was getting. I was gearing up to talk about. You frosted a whole bunch of windows for us this uh, week. I frosted the snowman out of that shit. And you kind of, I didn't know that you could do this, but you informed me that it was possible. And you can rework the windows of your garage door because we wanted to do something else. Well, uh, so we have windows in our garage door and they had like these uh, faux panels in front to make it look like the freaking house of the rising like sun. Like an arch? Yeah. Yeah, for, fake arches in the in the window, and the yeah. glass is clear in the garage door, which means if the in if it's dark outside and your garage light is on, you can see you can through. see into the garage, which isn't that big of a deal. However, in our garage, because we do also work, I mean, we do park the car in there, but we also work out and have my mountain bike stuff. You and so we have you can see all of our cool shit, stereo stuff and yeah. TVs <laughs> and all of that in the garage. So. 
I wanted to remove those panels to just make them full size so they look like regular windows and not this For style as well, weird, we wanted to yeah. remove the But we didn't pieces. want people to be able to see. So I found this film online that makes the glass look frosted. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I applied said film. It's just like applying window tint to your car. Works the same way. Right. So I did. I did the windows in the garage. I did the side windows of the garage, and then I did um, half or one third of the, or maybe one quarter of the front windows. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense why. <laughs> it does make sense because I talked about. I think it was two weeks ago how I walk around without pants on in the morning, and the and blinds, you can, and it's right there. You can, a, it's basically at pants level, so you just see my crotch we have a portable air conditioner <laughs> so. that we use and when it's in the kitchen because it's so got now a i can walk around out, naked <laughs> yeah so, so now you can't see it so anyway so it was the frosting was fun i had a good time doing it it came out really well you surprised. frosted the garage all the garage windows mm -hmm. and the garage door and mm -hmm. the front window and currently looking for other things to frost so if you frost guys need some things frosted uh give good, no, it, looks good. <laughs> it looks really good and thank you for doing that it looks great and i like the square windows fits our house better than yeah. the little arches, which didn't match the house. Like, obviously, it was, like, put in later or whatever. But anyway, yeah. I don't know why my hands are up here. I don't know. <laughs> I was driving to work the other day, and I hit a bat. Bounce off the window. Oh. The, like, I think it lit. The, the driver's window or, like, like yeah. the front the windshield? windshield? Oh. Yeah. it was. I think it was chasing a, a piece a of something. food. Yeah, a yeah. moth or something. It, oh. Sorry. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time Ed hit a bat? No. We we were, we were driving back. Story? No. Okay. Well, the bat did die. But we were driving mm -hmm. back from uh, the beach, and he had a bat, and it flew out in front of the car, and all of a sudden it was gone. We're like, oh. I'm like, dude, you just hit a bat. And he's like, no way. I'm like, I think so. <clears throat> so we were driving, and then we got back to his house, and we got out, and the bat was on the, he had a Toyota truck, mm -hmm. an older Toyota truck. It was and in the, the grill. No, the, it was on the light spread out, so it looked like the bat symbol. Oh. It was freaking just. It was th so we left. There. We left oh. it there until finally it, it just fell off. But it was the. It was the freaking awesome. We're like <laughs> oh. freaking Batman. Poor Although um, Ed used to hate it because I used to when the first Batman movie came out, I used to walk around all the time going, "I'm Batman," and get all pissed. He's like, "You're not fucking Batman. Stop <laughs> saying that." <laughs> like, ah. You have to send Ed, Ed this clip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. No, it might really piss him off. You think so? I think he still holds that inside somewhere? Good. Let's do this. All right. Napa Valley Weather Report. He didn't do enough board today, so I am going to pull the board no. from you. No. no. And that's not I'm, what you do. No. That No one was here. Do, 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 do. It's not a stuttering Jamaican, although that would be a good, uh, good punk rock band name, the stuttering Jamaicans. It would be. Uh, at time of recording, it was 71 degrees with 73% humidity outside, 73 degrees inside with 58% humidity. We had a peak gust of 10 miles an hour, average of four at recording time. It was three miles an hour blowing out of the area. I didn't write it down, so it was blowing in some direction. <laughs> There's some hand gestures One going on. One direction going the other direction, and the barometer was at 30.03, and it's overcast. And humid as hell. <laughs> Henceforth, the 73% humidity. Yeah. And that's your Napa Valley weather. Send us your weather report because we like it. We like it. Just like I like gummy bears soaked in vodka. Is that a thing? Yeah, it was a thing at schools for a long time. Kids oh, no, were soaking because yeah, they didn't smell, so kids could eat huh. gummy bears soaked in vodka. Why didn't start drinking until I was like thirty-ish? It's because you're 35. not a real Indian. Or, wow. Okay. Well. Fake Indian. <laughs> you're fake Indian. You're God. fake Indian. Wow. You're like you're like an Indian statue. In front of a smoke shop? <laughs> exactly. See, you In know. In front of a vape shop. You know your role. <laughs> um, speaking of which, we're back to burritos tonight, and I went to the taqueria burrito shop. Tonight's dinner choice shop. was a nightmare. I could not make up my I mind. I couldn't decide either. And I, 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 burritos sound awesome, though. Like, I'm actually looking super forward. It's not super healthy for us, but I'm looking super forward to it. Um, and I didn't recognize anybody in there. And luckily, the man who took my order um, spoke great English, but the woman who rang me up at the counter did not. And this other man came rushing in, and he just started s talking to me. And I was like, oh, oh. And, and then he kind of looked at me like – and he was very, very pleasant. Like he wanted to talk to um, the cashier girl, mm -hmm. and she wasn't there. And then he started – 
I think he was joking about how he just started talking to her and she wasn't there and like, ha, 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 ha. And I was like, uh, You're like, oh, oh, what? uh. <laughs> um, I totally have something amazing to talk right, to you about. All right. But um, I also know that we have questions and we still have to do our favorite five. So do you mind if we go over an hour just a little bit? Go ahead. So today I found out that they are making movies of my scones and bones book. Are they really? Yeah. Like a real movie so or get, made no, for TV? No, no, get this. Hallmark. They're Hallmark movies. Nice. <laughs> That's so awesome. So it's, it's a two for one. For it's, those of you that don't know, Annalise is a huge fan of the Hallmark and ABC Family Christmas movies. Yes. So now you're getting yes. your scones for bones. Yes. So um, I kind of read these light mysteries. Um, they're called, in the, in the mystery book genre, they're called cozies. 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 What are, well, they? are cozies. they? Cozies or cozies? Cozies. How are they spelled? Um, it's a, with a C, not a K. Okay. So, um, because it's the co- it's a tea cozy. Take notes, Nickel. Yeah. Craig Nickel from Graphic Beer Thomas Park. Cozy Tea Cozy. Yeah. Perfect. So, um, in in Penis English crazy. book, <laughs> not not no? not connected. Sorry. So, um, so in English uh, murder knows. mysteries, the lighter, like you know, uh, Miss Marple and things like that would would be a tea uh, a cozy. Uh, shit. A cozy. A, a cozy. Oh, so you're getting it wrong. Yes. So I'm gonna Mystery start calling cozy. you Nickel. No, no, cozy. Right. So, um. Um, I read the I read a few series of books like that that are done by American authors. I also read some British ones, but that's neither here nor there. So amazing! And um, the first one is from um, a book series called. Um, oh, well, it takes place in Lake um, Lake Eden, Minnesota, spice and the first um, they're Minnesota. they're called. Um, the first one's called Murder She Baked or whatever, <laughs> and it's uh, wow. the chocolate chip um, murder mystery. Oh but God. um I know. So but the, the the only thing that kind of bums me out though is that the the cool part about the book is the main character who's the crime solver or whatever isn't a pretty is girl. She's the Pillsbury doughboy. She's kind of ch- she's like this chubby um, How do you know she's chubby? It says so. It talks oh. about it. And and she kind of struggles with her weight and it's kind of funny cuz she's a baker so she's always like, "Oh." And she um, should be proud of how she looks. And so um she and she always jokes because like I mean, her she's probably got the flower. She's the oldest and her two younger sisters are like strikingly beautiful and so it's kind of a thing. It's like a struggle for her because she's a little bit chubby and she has like this red frizzy hair and it's 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 a it's a thing, you know? Wow, it's but she's like very judgy. No, no, this is how she describes herself, mm. you know? And so but anyway, it's really good cuz she's really smart and funny and all of that. But she has a great personality. She does have great personality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in the movie Obviously, she looks nothing like that. Oh, she's a who is cute it? blonde girl. Ugh. And she's, um, um, she used to be on Young and the Restless. I don't remember the actress's name. Something Sweeney. Um, Allison Sweeney, maybe? Um, and she's been on Young and the Restless. Weenie Sweeney? <laughs> it's tough. But, um, so, uh, and they're doing, one's already out and we somehow missed it. So, the, number two is about to come How out. How did that happen? And the other thing they're doing is they're skipping ahead. Like they came, they did the first one, which actually is based on the first book. And the second one they came out with is like on the seventh book or something like that. So it's ridiculous. And so we're not going to watch it because you're disgusted. No, I'm going to totally oh watch it. <laughs> so the other series they're doing, they're doing like four series, some original, some not. And get a load of these titles. I wrote them down for you because you would find them hilarious. All right. So they're doing a series with the um, Murder, She Baked series, mm-hmm. which is Murder, what we just talked which about. Which is right there, a red flag. <laughs> they're doing another one um, which is based on books that I read and have read all of what as well what is going well. on with your hand you're I'm talking to you I'm animated. animated I'm afraid well luckily you're sitting across the table just listen to my story okay so the other one is based on the real murders books and the main character is Aurora Tea Garden and the TV Wait. Aurora Tea Garden that's her name yes and it also takes place somewhere in the Midwest the, I can't remember the city right now I might remember it in a minute but um so the interesting again doesn't Aurora look Aurora Aurora Tea Garden and you know who Garden. plays Aurora Tea you, Garden? You can say it as fast as you want. It's still Aurora right Tea so, Garden. But and the Cameron sister, um, whatever her face, Cameron from Full House plays her, which is again nothing like the character in the book, as well as she's super religious. The older the point. Oh, Kirk know, Cameron's sister. Yeah, who was oh, in Full yeah. House? Yeah, 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 the older sister in Full House. Yeah. So she plays her. And what's really interesting is those books are written by Charlene Harris, who wrote Suki, Sta- Suki Stackhouse, i.e. True Blood. Right. So 
I don't know what this hand is. I don't doing. know what you're doing. I'm over, there. over explaining everything you, to yes. you. I'm super excited. So, so what are these? Uh, the, so titles? The, and so the other ones they're come up with. Which you wanted are to go over an hour. Original. I didn't know you wanted to go over two. Stop it. So the, so they're also doing two original. Do I get the fucking titles or not? I'm telling you. Let me finish my story. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're co- they're doing two original series as mm-hmm. well, like in the same vein. And one is called, wait for it. Oh, I've been waiting. Garage Sale Mom Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> garage Sale Mom Mysteries. And the second one is called. So it's called about garage sales? Wedding Planner Mysteries. Well, the Wedding Planner Mysteries isn't bad. So. Garage Sale Mom so. Garage Sale And that's Mom all on, yeah. on Hallmark? Hallmark. Yep. Starting, and they've already started. They've already started. Wow. So. Just so you know. Annalise. Yes. You know I'm a dreamer. Are you, do you, are, you gonna, are we working into questions? Yes. Okay. But Are these from Angel Palmer? My, my heart's of gold. All right. Is, does he want you to say lyrics? Is that what he wants? No. But you know give I had to... Give me a, your phone. I had to run away high. So I wouldn't come home low. Right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you reading lyrics? No, I'm just saying just when things went right. I mean, it doesn't mean they're always wrong. You just just take this song. And you is this feel a like game I'm supposed to guess the song? song? No, no, no. This is from <laughs> somebody who wanted me to read uh, Home Sweet Home lyrics. Oh. <laughs> somebody. I, I like it's a big mystery. Agent I, Palmer? No, not Agent Palmer. Reasons are several? No, I can't believe you don't know. Who? No, I'm not going to say it. You're going to have to find out. It might have to do with another podcast that's been very supportive of us. Salty Language? No. Hmm. Might have Hobie. Nope. Well, it's a Bon Jovi song. I just assumed it was Hobie. No, it's not. Did you just say it's a what, what Bon are you, Jovi what song? Are you reading? Did you just say oh, it? Motley Crue, Home Sweet Home. Sorry. All right, we're gonna move on to questions. <laughs> <laughs> so we Come get, on now, just get go out ahead here. and finish for whoever you're reading for. Question for tonight, for. Agent Palmer. Question for tonight. While I am somewhat observant. Hmm. I'm not so when it comes to if someone likes me or not. I think there's a word missing in there. Now, I'm hmm. sure I've still got some time, but how will I know when it happens? Unless, of course, they come out and say it. So Palmer wants to know how if somebody likes him, how he would know. I am the worst person in the world to ask this question to. Um, Because I kind of don't, I don't, I'm not a first move guy. As you well know. I always kind of know. I don't know how to explain that. I always feel it. I can always kind of tell. I kind of just figure every... And unless I, people say they don't like me, I just feel they do. That is probably true for you. <laughs> I just figure... Like, I walk um, into a room and there'll be, like, some ladies and some dudes. And I'm like, yeah, they dig me. I'm like Vanilla Ice. I'm like, they dig me. Right. So I think I don't I, I guess I don't totally know, but sometimes But that's as far as I'll take it. I'm not gonna right, actually yeah. try anything after that. Um I guess I'm not sure how to do that. I mean obviously if they're in if they seem interested and they seem engaging and they want to talk to you as opposed to seeming like they're trying to get away from you. That's if it. they're making an effort to talk with you to and, linger and they are continue the conversation. Single, yeah. It's a good chance right. that they enjoy your company enough right. and just because to see what happens. A, someone's pleasant and then moves along, that's okay. Yeah. That just means they're nice. It doesn't mean they're gonna throw your <laughs> their octopus on your cuttlefish. Right. If they make an effort to hang out and linger and talk to you more, then they probably like you. As if well they're as single. If they're not a lot they of eye contact might be, helps as might well. Be friend. Yeah. And if they're naked or, you know, if she's taking her clothes off, that's a big clue. Follow up. Mm. I'm going to ask you all of my relationship dating questions. How long is this email? No, that that I just think he's. Oh, <laughs> so, go ahead. I don't know. I don't know if we're the best people to ask that to. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of dating per se. And a sports question: Are you guys watching the uh, Copa America or the Euros, which would be football, uh, soccer? I have no idea what that means. I think the answer to that would be no. <laughs> That'd be no. I'm following it. Although NASCAR is here in Sonoma next weekend. Yes, I'm following it online, but I'm not watching. Mm. We do. Um, the only thing we really watch is NASCAR and football. Let's uh, let's get to the, our favorite five. Sure. Do you want to announce it? I do. It um, favorite five. Woohoo! We need like a favorite five <laughs> theme <laughs> thing. Oh my god. Sorry, I just sorry. Fries my tree. I like if to I don't hear finish the whole it. Thing. I know. No, it's like, do, do, do. 
Well, I just don't know which one, and we need to pick one Give for that uh, Faye Five. No, we don't. You just need to use the board more. <clears throat> I'll do a favorite five jingle. Okay. No, I'm lying. I don't want jingles. <laughs> okay. It's another thing. Favorite five. <laughs> Musicians. Oh, gonna, you know what? what? I am going to now <laughs> isolate that. That will now be the jingle. <laughs> Let's do this goddamn yeah. favorite five. Favorite five. Whatever. I hate you. God damn it. So favorite five musicians <laughs> to actors in that order. Musicians Plus to their, the favorite movie that they were in. Oh, I didn't know we were supposed to do the favorite movie. That's what you movie. told me. Oh, okay. no, no, you told me that. Well, I will try. I will try. I did, I did not. If if I said it wrong, well, I hope the movie part. Okay. I didn't hope the list, but hope cool. the movies. So it's people who started as musicians went into acting. Right. Yeah. All right. So I will. I will try. Okay. Do you want to go first or second? Um. You want to go? Uh, I'll go first. You okay. can go last. My number five. Oh, well, I can't remember. There's a the really long now. pause. Yeah. <laughs> five, I can't remember the is LL Cool Cool J. Yeah, but what? Okay. And I'm yeah. trying, uh, but it didn't have to be a movie. It could be a TV also. Right, but he was also in that um, shark movie, um, Deep Blue Sea. That's not the one I was. Where thinking he explains to you how to make the perfect omelet. I apologize. Uh, why don't you do your number five, and I will You'll come back to it. Okay. Yeah, because it's also not NCIS Los Angeles, although he is right. good in that. There was something he was in that I was always like, oh, that's really cool. Um. So my number five mm-hmm. is J Lo. Oh, that's a good. And my favorite J Lo movie is Out of Sight with George Clooney. Do you remember that one? No. Um, I believe, if memory serves, and I'm sure I will get a ton of tweets if this is wrong, but it's the one where she throws out like the, um, what's the police baton thing? that was, The that, collapse. It's an asp. The yeah, collapse, the collapsible collapsing. asp. Yeah. yeah. And then she um, beats the shit out of that guy who wants to tussle. Do you remember that scene? And I oh. do not. He's like, you want to tussle? And she's like, and then she beats the shit out of him with her asp. So. Right. I love it. But um, obviously not the best actress or the best musician for, or singer for that matter. Right. But I think she's done some good jobs. She was then, you remember Anaconda? That was hilarious. My Anaconda don't want me. <laughs> um, All right. So <clears throat> back so to. So I, I was a fan of LL Cool J and Rollerball. Rollerball. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The remake. The remi- yeah. And, right. Yeah. Uh, so is it me? Mm-hmm. Number four? Number four. Beyonce. What is she acted in? Wasn't she in Dreamgirls? Is that right? Oh, my God. What is she acting? Are you not a... Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the, the movie right now. Um, Mike Myers. You're going to give me a hard time for the Mike, movie? No, no. I, I know what she was in. Mike, <laughs> Mike Myers. Um, what do you mean? The British spy guy. Goldfinger. Oh, no, Foxy no. Brown. Yes. Oh, okay. What was the name of the movie, though? I can't remember. Goldfinger. It. No. Gold... Yeah, but what was... What's... What's Austin Powers, Austin, Goldfinger, she Austin played Powers. Foxy Brown. Yes. I knew that off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Totally draw right. Freaking. No, you're right. Doing for sure. It. But she was also good. in Dreamgirls, right? I don't know. I never okay. saw Dreamgirls. I didn't either. She's been in a few movies, but I, re- <laughs> but when, I didn't remember that until you told me. When she was in that, I thought she was hilarious. <laughs> she was. <laughs> Foxy Brown. Now that I remember it. All right. Um, so what's your number four? Uh, my number four is Harry Connick Jr. Yes. And um, Which movie? Well, he was in a few really good movies. When Harry Met Sally? Yeah, um, he was in Memphis Belle, which is a really good movie. And he was the voice in Iron Giant. He was he the... wasn't the Iron Giant. That was no, the no, no. He was the um, the guy. The um, the love interest oh, slash... Ba- Bali. <laughs> That's not his name. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, I forget his name offhand. But, um, but my favorite um, role that he did is really fucking creepy he was ID4. in this movie called copycat with sigourney oh, yeah. weaver where he that plays that movie. serial killer yeah. and like and she like has nightmares about him and stuff and like i just like it he almost was, gave me nightmares like he is really he was good greasy at being in that movie. super creepy yeah like i was kind of like, like how he sings Whoa. jazz like it actually i didn't actually recognize him at first that's how creepy he was i was like is that oh my god so anyway Harry Connick jr number three mm-hmm. will smith <laughs> nice yeah I love I, all the Men say, in Black movies. And I liked him in ID4. <laughs> although my favorite movie was Six Degrees of Separation. Right. He did so good in that. And that was one of his first movies. Yeah. Him wow. and uh, the, the other guy. Hmm. The other guy. Uh, Anthony Michael Hall. Hmm. Really? Was he in that? I thought he was his boyfriend in it. Oh, was he? I don't, mm-hmm. you know, I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was a good movie. But, um, Sidney Poitier. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
So hold on to your socks. I don't think Sidney Poitier was in it. He just said that he was friends with it. Anyway, go on. Hold on to right. my socks. Hold on to your socks. You ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. Dolly Parton. Oh. Is my number three. Yeah, that's a good one. Nine to five. Nine to five. She was excellent in that movie. That is actually a good movie. Like, I would watch, if it was on right now, I'd watch it. Okay. And she was great in it. So I think so she, that's held, a good call. she held her own, like, next to, like, Lily Tomlin in, like, um, What's Your Face? I like it. <laughs> so. My number two? Yep. Chris Isaac. Uh, he, he was on my expanded Hobie list, which yeah. I did not bring. Um, however, I can't remember the movie. Hmm. Um, he plays a cop. Well, you can look it up. Yeah, whatever. C- number two is Chris Isaac. Okay. <laughs> um, my number two, and as soon as I say the movies that he was in, you'll remember, but is Meat John, Loaf. John Doe from X. No. He has been in so many X things. X as in Malcolm X? As in the band X. Oh. From, oh, the, oh, the punk oh. band X. You know? Yeah. Um, who still performs. And by the way, he lives in Fairfax. And what movies was it? So he was John in um, Roadhouse. Okay. Boogie Nights. Mm-hmm. Great Balls of Fire. Didn't see Boogie Nights in he Great Balls of Fire. He plays the... Um, Saw Roadhouse. Yeah. Um, oh, you did Great Balls of Fire? No. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that's about. Jerry Lee Lewis? Jerry Lee Lewis, oh. right. And he plays the father of his cousin that he marries. He plays... He's, he's actually the cousin and the girl that he marries, like the second cousin, because that's her daughter. Right. His daughter. So right. anyway... So, but he's been in a crap ton. I think he's like, he still acts and yeah. still performs and has like a shit ton of solo albums and lives half hour away. <laughs> so my number one, <laughs> wait for it. JBJ. John Bond. Oh yeah. Jovi. Moonlight and Valentino. Yep. Or UB, he, UB 41, UB 41. Um, I, yeah, UB he's 40. done some great stuff. No, I'm totally wrong. And on he that. did, he did this one really cool romantic comedy one. He did Destination Anywhere. That's not the one. Anyway, anyway. I'll think of it. But yeah, right. I almost forgot that. And he did uh, Ally McBeal. Oh, I didn't remember that. Yeah, the last couple seasons. I only saw like the first two seasons and then I had to stop. So, <laughs> it was <yeah>. too much. <laughs> However, like I, Henry Rollins mm-hmm. also, Red Hot Chili Peppers has been in a couple movies because mm-hmm. they were in Point Break. Right. So, there's a lot. <laughs> Me, and I think Meatloaf is actually a pretty good actor. He's I think great so too. Seven, no, uh, seven, no, Fight Club. Fight Club. No. Yeah. Um, are you ready for my number one? Yep. I let me guess it. Okay. Bjork. No, although she's done that, but she's done what? She, I mean, she's done movies. Yeah. But yeah. All right, uh, Cindy Lauper. Nope. Madonna. Nope. Bob Geldof. <sighs> no. All right. Who? Ludacris. Ludacris. Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I, he was on my list, but then I'm like, you know, I'm only putting it on because of Fast and the Furious. That's exactly why I put it on. Well, I'm just And saying. that's okay. I didn't. I put on Dolly Parton because of 9 to 5. I was going to use Johnny Depp because but, he was actually a musician first, but everyone yeah, would be like, everyone. But was he? No one really cares. <laughs> <laughs> was he a successful musician, though? But I guess that's matter? how I gauged it oh, for me. Oh, successful. In my head. I just, I tried, because there were so many, I tried to give myself parameters. So. Yeah. Well, I guess all mine were successful in music. I think so. Beyonce is kind of lagging me, huh? She could, she could try <laughs> she to could pick those, up the pace. Yeah, she could up her album sales. <laughs> Shane, um, no Will Smith. I don't have any outro stuff. Oh, hold on. We get it. And for Agent Palmer, I will, uh, well, we can try to help you out with some dating stuff, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're an old ask. married couple, so I don't know if we're really helpful, but. I, I was never, I was never good at dating. As you well know. <laughs> I, I was not. You're I a was, good hanger outer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good hanger outer. I'm a good friend, but I I was always one. I like, I like relationships. I don't like going out there and you know. I mean, not that I didn't schlong my dong every now and then, but that wasn't my deal. I wasn't into the dong schlonging. So I'm I'm a terrible person to ask. I, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Although, as my uh, friend and boss says, marry for money because everything else can be fixed with surgery. <laughs> <laughs> diet and surgery um okay thank you for listening dark angels pretty freaks episode are we done 118 we're done oh, i'm leaving then. what no you're not what where are you going that's so, a good day don't even think about it okay we have a free app check it out we love it no what seriously you have to push the button where are you going what button when i'm done you have to push the button i will push the button god damn it oh my god i dropped my head 
Um, we really like it. Hopefully, we'll put some new stuff on there. Hercules. 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 <laughs> I love that movie. Um, Neil's going to put the Heno song on there. It's going to be super cool. Yeah, we're going to. And then um, you can check us out. We're everywhere. Facebook, totally Instagram, good. YouTube, Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Check me out. I like to friends. Hello. Um, we Periscope, but not often. But we will. Upcoming from Jamaica. Um, call our voicemail. We already did one voicemail episode. We'll do another. What are our Periscope and Pinterest and everything? DAPF pod. Okay, cool. Um, call our voicemail at 774-327-3713 or 774-DAPF-713. Leave what? the fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to leave that because it's already been done. But <laughs> if you want to leave different versions of that, that's totally fine. Um, we are members of some really awesome networks and supportive uh, Tangent Bound Network, DangerEntertainment.net, Wicked Radio Network. Um, Pod Guts Network, and we are on Geek Life Radio on Wednesdays at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. It's pretty cool. PM. PM. We're not like those Saturday night freaking <laughs> Who plays <whatever>. Creed. <laughs> um, anyway, um, also check out um, hashtag Potter and Family and find out some new um, and supportive uh, podcasts to listen to. It's pretty cool. And thank you for listening. See you till the end. Agent Palmer. Good night. Good <laughs> night.